have you seen have you seen the trailer yet? I've only seen part of it uh, uh, yeah. for the new documentary that's coming out on him that's that's going to play on Netflix. And I'm I want to see. We're going to show this to you because I'm really looking forward to this. It it looks like I mean the opening scene. Uh, if you're if you're uh, listening on Blaze Radio, we're not going to be able to see it either, so we're just going to hear the audio. So you don't get the full impact, but go to theblaze.com and and check it out and watch the trailer if you if you can't see it right now because you have to see Mitt in the opening scene of this documentary trailer to understand how I think how surprised he was. Yeah, how His blown face. away that he did not win. It starts well. Here's here's a look at the trailer, and we'll talk about it after. I just can't believe you're gonna lose. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you think you say in a concession speech? By the way, someone have a number for the president? I do. Okay. <laughs> I thought about that. And if you don't win. We'll still love you. Uh, the, <laughs> the country may think of you as a laughing stock, and we'll know the truth, and that's okay. This is a very different setting than any of the debates we've held so far. A dining room conversation is among members of the family. These are all people competing for the same job. How in the world do we find these things out on the day of the debate? He hates to disappoint. But are you going to iron on seriously? <laughs> Ouch. This may not end well. A recent poll said that 43% of Americans are not even sure who you are. The flipping Mormon. <laughs> How did you feel on the stage? I was dying. I would not want to do this again. It's too much. I have looked, by the way, at what happens to anybody in this country who loses as the nominee of their party. They become a loser for life, all right? They're done. All right, that's it's over. Barack Obama yeah. has changed our race. It's changed our prospects. He's a very good debater. He's a lot better than the other guys. He's a yeah. much more effective debater than they are. Oh. Oh. You just get beat up constantly. Oh, Mitt Romney's a flip-flop, or he's this, he's that. And I go, man, is this worth it? And it's like trying to convince people that Dan Quayle is smart, all right? You're not going to convince them that Dan Quayle is smart. And then maybe i got to live with that. Oh, you flip and everything. And in which case, I think I'm a flawed candidate. Please welcome. Next president and first lady. A year ago, we told you we'd love you no matter how this thing turned out. And now you're not so sure. Now we're not so sure. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, that that looks uh, pretty good. I, yeah, heartbreak. <laughs> yes, heartbreaking. Yes. Really, it's seriously, seriously yes, first I scene. Know. you you can't and and when you just hear the audio, uh, you can't you can't get the sense of what you get when you watch the trailer because he's just he's heartbroken. You can tell and blown away. He really believed he was going to win. I don't understand it. I mean, you know, these guys they had to. Ha- I mean, there there must have been some poll or something. Some weird showed them in trouble. Polling. Well, they didn't now, know. Remember, they didn't the- know about all the fraud that was going to take place. No, of course, <laughs> thank you, and, thank you, uh, Jeff. Yes, uh, thank you. I forgot about the fraud. Remember yeah. his his get out the vote program uh, crashed on election day. Oh yeah, um, that's right. Which was a kind of a big deal uh, yeah. because they were supposed to, they had something that was supposed to lock down where everyone they thought that would vote for Romney would be, and they can go out and knock on the doors and make sure they get out and vote and blah blah blah. Yep. And it didn't work. Uh, huh. At least it didn't work, particularly early in the in the day. I, I I will tell you this brings back this drudges up. Yes, it does. How much I liked the guy at the end. You know, I obviously we didn't support him in the very beginning. I I was a uh, Rick Santorum guy. And uh, I really liked Rick Santorum. Rick Santorum was was the more conservative choice, the more, I, I don't know, consistently conservative over many, many years. Um, I But at the end, for the last six or eight months, maybe a year, I was really convinced that Mitt Romney was the best man for the job. I really was convinced that he was such a good man his heart was in the right place. He had been uniquely prepared for this his entire life. Uh, his his mindset was in the right place. 
he had the business acumen. He just spiritually, I liked him. You know, I liked him in every way at the, at when I was ready to, you know, cast my vote. And so this reminds me of all that. And I have not turned on, on Mitt and thought, well, that was a dumb pick anyway. I'm glad, you know, cause I, I still think he would have been great. I think he would have been a really good president. Oh my gosh. Look, to what, uh, look what's gone on in the last five years. Oh, yeah, I mean, he man. certainly would have been a better president. Yes. I, I, I don't know that I ever got to the point where I think you guys did. Where, you, uh, I, but I mean, I was, I would have been happy with him. I, I don't think I ever. I, there was never a point where I was like Mitt Romney would, uh, would, would be a terrible president. The way I put it during the campaign was, I think he would, uh, very often frustrate us, but I would never be embarrassed by him. Right. And that's right. I think that's the way. And I we felt. are. Con- Continually embarrassed by this guy. Yeah, we are continually, and he would have been much better, obviously. And I think, honestly, he would have been a pretty good Republican president. Um, I, think I think he, he would have been somewhere in between a Bush and a Reagan. You know, I don't think he was going to be unbelievable like Reagan. I don't think he was a game changer, but I think he was a a good, solid guy, a guy mm-hmm. with good a mm-hmm. good heart and good morals. Mm-hmm. And I think he was a guy who was a pretty good manager that understood the economy and would do yep. things that would annoy us at times, but overall a pretty solid uh, president from our perspective. Yeah. I, I may even go farther than that. I, th- I think I would have back in, you know, October, November, yeah. especially after that first debate, I thought, man, this guy is yeah. gonna, he oh, is really? going to be rock solid as a president. And then, you know, he changed his approach for debates two and three, and it changed everything. Yeah, totally changed the dynamic. This is going to be fascinating, though, to see six years of Mitt Romney in a campaign. Uh, apparently, the filmmaker had really uh, unprecedented access to him, and uh, this is going to be a really good in-depth look. And I, I don't know when is this in January that when it debuts. Yeah, be, be worth seeing.